Mystical Dose channel. Um, this video is basically a, a life update. <laughs> um, it's actually it's meant to be a life update. I'm working on my fillers and I'm actually working on a lot of things uh, to... Uh, well, I guess I should just get into the life update and then maybe you'll understand why I'm so... I don't know at this uh, at this moment but this life update uh, has been a long time coming recently uh, I felt the inspiration to get back into my channel and uh, doing readings on a consistent basis uh, in the last year actually very close to a year um, one of the biggest changes began and uh, I found out that I was pregnant and I had a beautiful nine months of pregnancy, made it full term, um, gave birth, and found out that my best friend died of brain cancer. I knew she had brain cancer. It's been a, real, a while since I found out, and it was, it was such a heavy time. Um, it was hard to, to accept as a reality, um, and at the, uh, at the end of her life was the beginning of my child's life, so there's beauty in this somehow, and, um, I honored my best friend by giving my child, um, my son, I had a boy, and uh, we decided to give him a middle name that um, would honor her. So that's something that I have very close to my heart, and I'm really grateful for my son for obvious reasons. Like being his mom, it's just so natural and instinctual to love him and care for him, but also he is teaching me so much. <laughs> it's teaching me about forgiveness, um, strength. It's in this video that I, that I, in hindsight, see like really almost a year to the date at the time that I'm recording this, my life changed on a deeper level, because it had already changed by then. I had moved, left the suburbs of where I'm from, and then moved into like the woods. So that was a change. Um, having a work from home job was also new to me. Um, leaving a job that I thought I'd stay at for a long, for the long term, um, that was also hard. So all of these events already felt like major life changes but it's only within the last year that I've felt the deepest change of all before before my friend died um, I actually hadn't known anybody close to my life I'm mean, close to me sorry um, in my life that I'd lost um, so her death was the first death that I've had to mourn wholeheartedly. And I think in a way it's different than any mourning that I'll probably go through in the future um, just because my son was born only within an hour, less than an hour since she passed. So I really didn't get... Um, I didn't really get a uh, sad morning, and also I knew she was sick for a while. I'm sorry, part of this, uh, I'm going way off script. Um, I really didn't think that I was going to get into depth about my friend, but it came up and uh, I, I started thinking out loud. It's still something that I'm processing, and when I talk about it, I want to make sure I talk about it. 
with words that really cement the feelings and thoughts that I experienced and continue to experience. So forgive me for teasing you with um, that part of my, my change, my life update. So that's what's happening behind the scenes. Oh, oh my goodness. I think I should just shuffle my, my tarot deck. Get myself a little grounded again. I will say though that it felt really good to say those things um, and, and talk about it. So thanks for listening. <laughs> It feels good to hold the tarot deck in my hands again and um, part of the life date update that is on the script <laughs> I have uh, I started um, before quarantine I had started teaching yoga at a studio and that was that was my goal and in, in my business and in my endeavors was to teach at a yoga studio and I only had maybe about a month, month and a half of teaching before quarantine hit. And then we went online and then I had the move and all of these personal changes. And eventually um, the online teaching finally got to me and I realized like uh, this is not the way that it feels right for me through online um, teaching. Um, so I, I let that go. And I also let go uh, reading astrology. Uh, that was something that I started over almost two years ago. And um, I, I learned in the process that astrology is super heavy with information. There's so much to talk about. There's, there are different uh, ways of talking about astrology and reading astrology. So, uh, and I couldn't, I couldn't quite narrow it down for myself. So eventually astrology just kind of, um, fell off my plate in terms of like uh, connecting with, uh, people on social media, um, or in person. So it's more of like a hobby as now is what I'm trying to say. Um, so tarot, <laughs> tarot is the thing that feels right to do fits my schedule in my life now that, that I'm a mom and you know things a lot there are a lot of moving parts happening also behind the scenes so um just having my hands over the deck feels good I can feel the energy in my hand in the palm of my hands and it feels really good so let's see what's at the top of the card actually oh. <laughs> all right we got the nine of swords <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I have a lot of verbal diarrhea happening right now. Again, going off the script, so let me get back. Um, and, uh, okay, so I have a couple of channels that I watch on YouTube for pick-a-card readings, and one that um, sparked the most inspiration was Firefly Tarot. Um, so big shout-out to that YouTube page, and you should definitely check her out. But... I, I really fell in love with um, the framing. Um, I was very much engaged that way, and I think that that way fits best for me um, in terms of uh, doing my own readings for uh, people on the internet. Um, basically, <laughs> um, yeah, so big shout out to Firefly Tarot. Thank you. And uh, she has a ton of other uh, types of videos as well, um, but like not related to tarot. <sighs> so I've yeah I've been inspired to declutter in my life, and uh, it started with with. Uh, I need to pull another card. Oh my god and now I got the tower yeah total like a lot of thoughts about um, the changes that I'm going through and you know while there is black and you know the colors are really dark my, my feelings aren't dark um, it's more of just like how much I think about things like 
differently as a mom and someone who's mourning for the first time. It's, it's, there's just a lot to think about and process and um, change thinking patterns also to heal and recover. So yeah, definitely. And then the tower, of course, change. Uh, let's see what else do we talk about. <laughs> Ten of Wands, literally everything that I've just been like splurting out. Um, all of my endeavors that I was trying to do with my business, um, yoga, online yoga, uh, workshops, um, uh, just all of the endeavors that I was trying to do in my business that just honestly felt like too much and I was so ambitious and kept trying to push forward, kept trying to push forward, but I'm tired. <laughs> I am not as young and energetic as I was when I was uh, at the end of my college career and I felt all of this for the first time and knew that I wanted to share this energy with people. So it was finally becoming like too much in the last two and a half years. <laughs> Wonderful. Queen of Pentacles. So I, I just want to kind of ground down my feet at this point in my life and if I am going to share a mindful dose message with you guys, it's going to be through tarot. So thanks for listening. Um, and uh, I hope you stick around. Take care, guys.